Hey guys, so I'm here with my melts for, I think it's been the last week. Um, if it's not empty, I'm not going to show it. So there is some stuff that's not empty that I'm not going to show. But everything else I will discuss. Spearmint Clementines from Super Tarts. This was really pretty. I started to get kind of stuffy and put this in, and it's just a really pretty scent. I got mostly the spearmint, which has vanilla in it, and like a citrusy note. Um, super strong because, again, I was stuffy, and it blew me away at how strong it was with my nose stuffed up. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know if she has this like in clams or not. I don't know that I would get it in clams. Um, as far as stuffy noses go, this isn't my favorite blend, but I really did, I enjoyed that a lot. Great throw. Mac Apple Noel Fresh Cut Grass from Sugar and Spice. This was fantastic. I melted this on Saturday at my husband's birthday party, and I got so many compliments on this. Amazing. I will definitely... Stacy and I are going to be placing an order together. So, Stacy, this is something I'm going to get. I hope you like it. Um, Val, Valdeville. I actually went to see Chicago, the Broadway show. And they talked about this. I forgot what Valdeville was, but not the scent, but, you know, they bought up Valdeville. Anyways, this is a really pretty fruity scent. I don't remember what's in here. I do know I put this in my kitchen and it threw really, really, really well. Um, this was also going on Saturday at my husband's birthday party and a lot of people complimented on this one as well. This throw was amazing. Chrissy's Remains, one of my favorites. I can't remember if this is pink sugar. I think this is pink sugar. Or maybe cotton candy. They kind of smell similar, but this, oh, someone came in to visit me. And they're like, your house always smells amazing. And I had this going that day. I get a great throw from her Jaws blends. It's not necessarily the strength, like, of the smell, but it's the smell wafts throughout my whole house. I've seen people talk about doing one cube at a time with their clamshells. I'm unable to do that. I always have to do two. But it's not a hit you in the face scent so much as it is you can smell it throughout the whole house. I did this in my 25, 25 watts or 20, blah, 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 24 watt warmer, hot plate warmer for Michaels in my living room. And I smelt it throughout my entire house. I did not have to melt anything else that day. Two cubes, three melts. Perfect. Loved it. Getting more. Cannot wait. Pecan Waffle Fluff Puffs from Rose Girls. I finished this bag. Oh, this was amazing. We are just now getting into spring. So there's a lot of cold days. And this was just so comforting and so good. Great throw. I did um, I did this in my centerpiece warmer. I did this in my 24-watt hot plate. And my Glade warmer. And it threw well in all of those. I really loved it. You got the pecan waffles and the fluff puffs. Oh. Man, that is a good blend. Butter Brickle Cinnamon Buns from Rainbow Melts. This was really good. It threw really good. I got a lot of that cinnamon bun. The Butter Brickle was just kind of there, but it was really, really good. And I had four of these. So this is four melts at various times, probably in various warmers. But my favorite is my 24-watt hot plate. Love Story. This I got a long time ago at the store, the Rose Girl store, when... And well, Kathy still does. She pours stuff for the, she'll pour stuff for the retail store. And now that Jenny's going downtown, I believe Kathy is taking a break from scoopable tart wax and helping Jenny get ready for that like grand opening. I do know what this blend is, but it's a secret, so I'm not supposed to say. I'm just gonna say this is a really pretty scent, and the throw was phenomenal. From Super Tarts, pink peppermint. This was just um. A little tiny tart and it threw so well. I did this in my bathroom. Mm, I have a, a scent shot in pink peppermint from the advent calendar and I'm saving it. 
until I can get some more. I really like her pink peppermint. It's good. Another one from Super Tarts. This is... Oh, Pink Sands Cucumber Apple. This was amazing. This, I think I called it Cucumber Apple and something else. This threw so well. It was such a tiny tart. It performed phenomenal. It was a really clean scent. You got the cucumber and the apple and a freshness. I wouldn't say I picked up Pink Sands per se, but I was like... This needs to be a blend in a clamshell. I would for sure purchase that. Rainbow Melts Berry Pink. I believe this is um, Crunch Berries. I did not get a throw off of this one. Blank Label. This is Pepper Ann. Now, before I talk about this, I did not purchase this myself. It was sent to me to try. And I've never had a strawberry scent. This is Strawberry Soda Rainbow Sherbet Floats. Flecked with lollipop sprinkles. I did not get a throw off of this at all. Um, with that being said, I did melt a half of a, a bar in another scent and it threw pretty well. So I think with Blank Label, I'm just going to get an order, let it cure for a couple months, and try it myself. Candles from the Keeping Room Bamboo and Grated Ginger. This was amazing. Um, I actually don't like ginger scents at all, but I got more of the bamboo on this. The ginger might have creamed it out, but Really good. I put this in my bathroom. Loved it. Yoshi the Red Nose Dino. This is um, raspberry sauce and pistachio fluff or something. Um, it was actually really good. I don't like pistachio scents. And I don't know that I what I was smelling felt like pistachio to me. I got a lot of the raspberry sauce, but I did get a note that was like a like a sweetness aside from the raspberry. This one I did like. And I got that from a friend. That one's not done. From a glitterati 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 Irish Tweed. Janine had sent me some of this because I told her about this oil, which is phenomenal. It smells like Irish spring soap. Mm. And I love it. Like whenever I want to smell cleanness. I would dig into this. There was tons of little tarts in here. And that's all I needed. And it threw well every time. And yeah, I got this August of last year. And I just finished it. So amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's see here. Oh, La Push from Super Tarts. Fresh raindrops, sage leaf, and orange peel. Didn't pick up on the orange peel. I definitely got that rain scent, sage. It was a very fresh, how do I even describe this? It's almost like a peppery, I don't know how to describe this one. It's phenomenal. I have another one. Um, I can't wait to see this in RTS. I am excited to have the opportunity to have this a lot. It was phenomenal. The throw was insane. I'm missing some. Well, I'll throw those in next week. I remember exactly what it was. Luna, I just finished this um, last night, actually, from Sunsy. This is an older one. I love this scent. Mm. I don't know what it is. It's probably like Jasmine, Lily, Cashmere, Moonlight. It's got Moonlight in it, I believe. Um, you know, fairies, whatever. It's just a really pretty, like, sweet beautiful girly scent. I love this one. It is a staple. It is something I will always have in my house. And the throw has always been great for me. Lucky in Love. This one is like Love Story and Lemon. And this one was not a strong thrower at all. Um, I would not repurchase that one. I did that in my bathroom and it was light. Shimmer. I did get another one in Shimmer. This is like almost like a feminine lotion scent. Like it's so pretty. It's since these scents, like if I read the description to you, I could be like, yeah, you know, I got that, I got that. It reminds me of a lotion from Victoria's Secrets, and I really love it. The throw was good as well. Let me see if I have any more empties. 
I do not. So I'll be back with my scent picks for the next week. See you guys in a bit. Have a good day.